the Lord of Salt of Me. What you do consistently will definitely generate power. Amen. He says, Shall not God avenge his own elect who cry to him day and night? Yes. He said, He bear long with them, he will avenge them speedily. Amen. Therefore, receive speedily a vengeance. Amen. That is, God comes earlier than you are expecting. Yes. May that be your story. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Every power of limitation on your life is broken after this. Amen. There are powers that can hold tight to your advancement. Amen. Amen. Let's tell this generation the truth. Yes, sir. Let's tell them the truth. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Even faith. It doesn't make things easy. Ah. It only makes it possible. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. Let's tell them the truth. Wow. Faith does not make things easy. That is why it's a fight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fight the good fight of Amen. faith. Amen. And when you engage in the faith fight, God calls it good fight. Yes. So sitting down and crossing your leg to go around, they lay hands on you, you lay hands on you, nothing will happen. No. This place is not pray for me at first. It's pray with me at first. It's not do for me at first. Because even if you pray for you to get it, you must learn to defend it. If God blesses you, you attract the devil's attention. He doesn't believe you must be blessed. He believes you have to be in chains. No. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. So that sickness is not flesh and blood. That marital discomfort and it is not flesh and blood. Amen. That business that is trying to collapse is not flesh and blood. Anyone who is spiritual judges all things spirit. So you bring it to the natural, you become a bona fide failure. Ah. It's not flesh and blood. Somebody said, my child was doing well. Suddenly he moved from first to last. He said, the boy is not learning again. And he has sent him to psychologist. I said, you return with psycho. <laughs> what are you talking about? Even there are generation Christians who believe in those things than the spiritual things. Because it's, it takes responsibility to be spiritual. No. You look at my face. When I land there, you understand. I tell your neighbor, it takes responsibility. To be spiritual. Now, do you think the pr- prayer is welcome? Look at the way we are praying. Huh? Yeah. We could have been eating kebab. Yeah. Should we stop and go and eat kebab? Yeah, yeah it's very nice. Can you imagine we are all here and everybody is holding buffet plate and we are walking around? You don't get anointing in the kitchen. You know what? Some of you, some of you, eh, you are walking. Some are trotting. Some too. Uh, they walk some more. Do you know the reason why you are slow? What is chasing you is not fast. <laughs> if what is chasing you is moving fast, you will not be walking. You go to somebody's place at the wall there, there's a dog, the dog says, then you are standing there. For what? Depends on what is chasing you. You can jump a wall before later. You come and examine and say, Am I the one who jumped this wall? <laughs> Give the Lord a clap. <laughs> Any spiritual laziness in you, I cast that spirit in the name of Jesus. Spiritual laziness is the problem of this generation. Amen. 
A woman came here talking to me. He said, Daddy, I'm, I'm leaving the marriage. I'm leaving. My husband is having an affair. I said, Baba. Then I told her, I said, but before you leave, let me put wisdom in your mind. It's not your husband committing an affair. Somebody wants to eat your habit. You marry a man who has nothing. After 16 years, mm. the man is now a big man. You say he's having an affair, you are leaving. I say, another woman wants to eat your harvest. So you can go, but you'll suffer. Because blessing can be exchanged. Yeah. Esau took it from Jacob took it from Esau. So I told her, I said, you better fight or go and suffer. That is a fight. You, you, you talk, those of you who want to see me, be, be prepared. What I'll tell you, maybe you won't come here again. No, what? let's tell this generation the truth. Let's not say, okay, I pray for you. Let your husband come home. He won't come. Because the other woman is not using the naked eye. So this is a spiritual battle. You think the woman tells your husband doesn't know he has a wife? What can I do to take this man away from his wife? And he was sitting there and complained that he wants to run away. You will see your husband and the guy riding a Range Rover and you are taking trotro. That means your harvest has been taken. She came here, packed his things, and came to stay in Porter City. And on the fifth day, on the seventh day, the husband drove here with Jenjova. I started crying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said, uh huh. That is the way you. I'm sorry. Now, listen. I told you before, he compensated her with a Range Rover. You remember that story? Yeah. Now, he came and said, Daddy, thank you. I said, no. I said, that is the way you have left. I said, what has happened to you? Oh, many has left. And left the harvest for somebody who is not qualified. Even in the spirit realm, Jesus came and said, I sent you to reap what you did not sow. So the disciples, what they were reaping, they didn't sow it. Oh. Even in the positive realm. What about the negative realm? Jesus told them, I sent you to reap what you did not sow. So it, this sowing and reaping, it can work in the natural, but in the spirit it can change. Mm. If you are not smart, somebody will eat your harvest. Why you are suffering? May that never be your story. Payada by Yatokasaya. Anywhere you are so that they are trying to eat your habit. Let there be an instant restoration now. The louder you are me, the faster it produces. Many are in a kingdom like that. Many. Most of the things that you say you are angry is the devil pushing you. Satan knows that if you start eating, now think about it. Some woman has grace eh, to marry men that were nothing and make the men become something. But most of those women, when they are in the pitch of eating their harvest, they lose it. Amen. In the peak of the harvest. It's gone. Amen. The way you are standing here praying, it's not everybody that prays. Some people, they get their power from cemetery. Some is their eye shadow or whatever they call it, makeup. Even the makeup you put on, not everybody makeup is normal. It's not normal. Hmm. Because favor gets attracted by facial contact. So if I can see your face and favor you, then Satan can put a something in somebody's face so that he can receive a satanic favor. It's straightforward. No. No. When the attack of Haman landed on the Jewish people, eh, Mordecai sent to Esther and said, listen, don't sit there and think that if you don't do anything about this, you go free. Because this thing, you will not escape it. Then Esther sent back to Mordecai and said that, well, I wish I can do something, but the king has not called me for 30 days. At that time, the man has not called Esther for 30 days. Go back and check it. 30 days have not been called. It means that whatever favor Esther was enjoying, it has slipped. So no favor is permanent. Yes. If you don't put on a fight, the favor has slipped. The favor that let him meet the beauty contest, it has slipped. By enchantment of different things. Even the way Haman was able to, to, to enchant the king's mind. The king knowing that his wife is a Jew, but signed the attack. 
He signed it. Sealed the attack. You couldn't reverse it. How can you make a decree knowing that it's going to affect your wife? Because at that time, favor has slipped. And Esther could have sat there and go and see pastors to pray. And all, there were all kinds of people you could have contacted. There were the Jewish rabbis there. There were the sources and divinated. He said, no, let me engage in a fast. Let me engage in a fast. Listen, you cannot activate what you have not been practicing. It's not possible. Leave it. No. So you are not only here to pray, you are also under training. Yes, sir. For whatever the devil will bring in the future. Some of you are the reason why you are a threat to the devil is that he knows anything he hit you on Twitter, you know what to do. Yeah. Now, the most dangerous person that is a threat to the devil is the one who knows what to do. Yeah. Once you know what to do, Satan is powerless. Oh. Once you know what to do, the devil is powerless and helpless. There's nothing he can do about it. Somebody has come after your husband and then you are walking around Hester's Keta and looking for which prophet to pray. And most of those prophets you go there, they even end up sleeping with you. No, there was a case like that. The woman was trying to look for deliverance. The prophet complicated the thing. She even impregnated her for them to go and do wedding. So then, the thing that you are coming to pray, you have done worse. I think those of you do, Lord, they say, he that go for equity must make sure that he has what. Is that correct? Have I quoted correct? Yeah. You are going for equity. Your hands are like a contemporary appearance. Everything is in your hand. How are you going to win that? No. Complicated it. The worst thing that will happen to you is to try to contact people you claim they are spiritual, but they are not. They are not. And it's all over our system because this generation doesn't want to pay price to defend what God is giving to them. The problem is the price. Oh. The price our fathers pay, we don't want to pay. The price our fa- the people who left the gospel for us, they pay price. We are sitting on Facebook and YouTube. When we talk, they will insult you. It doesn't work. We will go down and see that this thing. I had one, one old preacher in Nigeria say something. He said, All this Facebook business is to weaken people. Because Christianity is not made for you to stay at home. They go from strength to strength, those who appear before the Lord. So, if you keep isolating yourself from the church, eh, there is something you... Because whilst we are here, a lot of things are happening in the spirit. We have come to Mount Zion. We have come to the city of God. We are in a heavenly Jerusalem. Look at the description of people who have gathered in church. And we are worshipping with innumerable company of angels. So, they are strengthening your weakness. They are taking sickness from you. They are canceling satanic attack. We cannot see by it's happening. no business in your room. Doing what? It's fine. You live in America, you live somewhere far, circumstance you can. But there are people, Facebook has become their church. They don't go to church at all. Sitting down and crossing their leg. With time, you become, something will hit you and by the time you are trying to defend yourself, it will be too late. No, because the price you pay to prevent is less expensive than the price you pay to kill. Give the Lord a clap of an preach. Simple. No. So those of us eh, who are always seeking the face of God that we are trying to say, Satan, we won't let to bring the battle close. So that we are going to, we are always on offensive. We refuse to be in defensive. No. If you know a little about, about football, but once they, once they, once, once they, how do they call it? Once you play defensive game, they will put pressure on you until they score you. If your opponent has very good uh, skippers, you are in trouble. No. It's not good to be playing with mercy and you are in defensive. No. This, this guy is, I mean, if you are some I'm telling you. Now there are people, they get opportunity, they will score you right now. I'm telling you. That is, look at the strategy of America and their battle. America is fighting you. They will bring the battle to your nose. Check the Iraq battle. Check the Gulf War. Now, Americans are, citizens are there and the, it is the Iraqis that are dying. That is the way you deal with the devil. Take the devil, take the battle to his nose. And the reason you shouldn't be afraid is that before you enter the ring, God say you are more than a conqueror. Hey! You are not listening to what I'm saying. Anyway, when you listen, you pray. No. No. What about that? So you just, you just appear in the ring. Don't sit down for them to eat your harvest. Don't sit down. Don't sit down for the devil to kill you before you are tired. Listen, everybody is going to have a all Christian, but not everybody is going on the right time. You can go before your time. No. Not everybody dies. Some people were killed. 
So when you are killed, it simply means that you couldn't fulfill or finish your assignment. The reason for longevity, with long life, I will satisfy you. The purpose is to finish your assignment. That's why he said, I told you, if, if you don't win, finish. And we are not supposed to win. We are just supposed to finish. Paul said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my cause. I have kept the faith. So lie in your casket knowing that comfortably, I finish my call. Finish my call. There are people, and, and when you get to the finishing point, you know. Simon lift up baby Jesus in the temple. He say, Lord, my eye has seen the consolation of Israel. Now let your servant depart in peace. Wow. Paul said, <laughs> I, I am caught between two opinions. Whether to go or to stay. For me to be with Christ is better. But for your sake, that means at that time he has not finished. There was little there for him to do. Huh? At the time he was saying those things, he has not finished writing some of the epistles. But at a certain point, by the time he was writing a letter to Timothy, he said, I have finished. I have finished. I have finished. Do you know, Archbishop Benson in the house, no sickness, no pain, no infirmity, came to church one day wearing white, white, and said, Today the title of my message is The Benefit of Death. Finished preaching and said, Hey, I have served God for 40 years. I'm tired. I'm going to rest. Went to the office and, and, and left. No sick. That's the way Archbishop Benson the house departed. The guy just knew it. The man knew he has finished his call. His last message is the benefit of death. Went to the office after preaching in the morning and sat down. And when they were there, he was sitting in his desk and was gone. Some people are going to die. Hey, oh, oh, oh. You couldn't finish anything. You are in church doing nothing and competing. People, you give them position, they will reject it. The most dangerous thing you ever do in life is to reject an assignment in church. If if they fire you, refuse to be fired. It's the most dangerous thing. I just, I begin to study it from four days ago. And I'm preparing a whole sermon on it. You know how pride can do it to you? No. Hallelujah. Some people wake up, eh? I don't want to do this thing again. I don't want to... Do you know the reason you do that? You are looking at the pastor instead of Christ. Let me tell you something. Do you know what? Nobody can discourage me for what I'm doing. I'm not looking at any man to do it. Mm-hmm. So if he in pain, Paul said, necessity is laid upon me. Who can, who can, he said, what to prevent me from preaching this gospel? He said, death, death tried, didn't stop him. Beating didn't stop him. Paris, he, he said, what to, what, what to stop me? You think everybody's going to be, everybody's going to be happy in heaven? No. Check it. No. No. And let me tell you, it might sound very hard, but take it. You will never go to heaven and account that you are a good lawyer. Be a good lawyer, but make sure you are doing something in the kingdom. I don't know your calling, but find it. Every calling of God is a like high calling. Even if you are sweeping the chair, sweep it. Yes, sir. Look at this revelation. Look at this revelation. It was D.L. D. L. Moody. It's revelation. Wrote it in his book. Huh? He had a vision, one was about to die. Vivid open vision, according to him. And he saw that he has gone to heaven. And he saw that Jesus was giving crowns to the people in his church. And when they give, I left with the last three crowns. And the, the last one was the biggest crown. It was like a trophy. So Moody said, he was standing there, and he was just like, oh, wow, it's the last one is for me. I'm the pastor of the church. What about that? Then Jesus rather called him, and gave him the last but one. So he said, Moody, come. And he said, what? Who is going to take the big one? Then in the vision, after Jesus gave it to him, then Jesus called his house boy. And gave him the biggest crown. Moody said, what? On what? The guy will serve him. So immediately he stood at his window and opened to the boy's quarters. He couldn't. He said, when he woke up, he was trying to see what is happening there. When he woke up, the boy was ironing his dress. And when he finished the shoe, the guy was shine the shoe. Have you listened to that? He signed the shoe, put it on the wall, come back and check it like this and sign it. And I think from the passing he served his master, he got a bigger crown than him. Be careful. There is no guarantee. I cannot tell that me, I'll get a bigger crown than the guy standing at the camera. If he's doing it faithfully, 
I cannot grant. Only God will determine that. It is your pride that is making you think that the position where you are working is insignificant. Why do you want to be seen to work for Christ? Ah. A lot of people have taken for granted what they do in church. No! 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 Every calling of God is a high calling. There is no calling of every call. You just have to be faithful. Faithful. Moody preach a whole message about. Like, can you imagine you go to heaven? Your house help has a bigger crown than. That means that he's doing his assignment faithful than his boss. Sure. There was a man in Chasfini's time called Father Nash. Father Nash was Tasfini's personal prayer warrior. And the man can pray. Hey, Father Nash, go and read history of revivals. And everybody was celebrating Tasfini. Miracles, evangelistic preaching. Then Father Nash died. When Father Nash died, Fini couldn't do crusade again. Then they find out that the Indian room of, of Fini's crusade was Father Nash. Now, in heaven, only heaven will tell whether between, nobody knew Father Nash. He never stood up. When uh, Chasfini is on the platform, he will be under praying. Hmm. Man of God, there's a woman in the Bible called Anna. He makes fasting and prayer his full time business. And even God gave him the opportunity to prophesy over baby Jesus. Lifted him up. Full t- Today we don't have full time prayer. We don't have people. No. We don't have people. We, in fact, in our generation, we don't have intercessors. So. We don't have it. Everybody's praying for what they want. But people pray for revival. We don't have No. Our prayers much more is one hour. That's what, we, that's what the generation is showing us. Whatever platform you are placed, one hour you have stopped. No. Apostle Machion Dems, who pray for the establishment of Church of Pentecost. In Asamankesi, they pray until fire came to sit on the building. It was the birth of the church. Look at Pentecost. We don't have those people now. No, we are making that thing a show. A show. I am very concerned. We don't have intercessors. We don't. Even the founding fathers of charismatism in Ghana Go and check their beginning. It was prayer. It was prayer. But there is something about prosperity. It has a way of shifting you. Tell your neighbor, that is why God is careful to prosper you. Tell the neighbor, that is why God is careful. No, I may try and Because a man see every day. Make us be at the piano. Hi, he be at the piano. Now, tongues. Prosperity as a sending by tongues. I'm telling you. All oh, the people pray here. I yaba. Hey, the process don't come. Look who goes. Lozu, 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 lozu. Who goes? No, it's got four tons. Any year, four tons. Any the same. Hey, different. No, 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 no. One thing, yeah, lipstick. Any time, my four tons. If you are white, chow, just say, but hey, yeah, we no wiggy. We wiggy. So you come on, come on, one CB. No, any year, any hundred, hundred dollars, JB. No, we try no we. And then I bet you my boy. Oh, I said don't know butterfly over there. And over and now what on Scarabia? Most shadow by. They should increase their country. May the Lord deliver us from all this blessing. May the Lord have mercy upon us. May the Lord deliver us. God is sitting in heaven and is watching attitudes. God, the Bible said the eyes of the Lord is moving to and fro. He is what he said. Hey, this guy that I bless. This guy that I bless. Yeah, there is another shocking thing. Those who were struggling in the village. And sometimes what it was, it was difficult. God make a way for them to travel to America. And when they see us pray, they say, you people should go and find a job to do. Who told you we don't have a job? Then when you enter into protest, I read dummies. Can dummies do things like this? 
that we don't think that you think we are praying because what God, who told you God is American? That you are yeah? there are poor people in every rich country, and there are rich people in every and I look at some of them the way they are talking, I know they are digging their grief. They don't understand because one of the most dangerous things you can ever do is to remember where you are coming from. Is to forget where you are coming from. When God told David, that shepherd dress, don't throw it away. Build a house and put it inside. So that when you are becoming proud, go back. And there is something about God there. When your pride starts, you will remember you where he picked you from. He told so. He said, when that was small in your eyes, I called you. But because today you have got a Look at your family house. Look at the road to your village. You think the devil doesn't know where you come from. Having an American passport does not disconnect you from your bloodline. Get it. Satan knows. And you are talking. Look at them. They should go and find a job to do. Can I tell you something? Not that we don't have a job. We have a job, but we are saying that. The one who even gave us a job so that we take a break and we come to him to draw strength we say Lord this is not by might this is not by power without you I can do nothing even Jesus said without me you can do nothing it means that without Jesus you can't marry without Jesus you can't prosper without Jesus you can't do anything he said without me you can do nothing that is why when coronavirus hit other nations were celebrating I saw President Trump say that all the automobile companies stop doing cars and do ventilators. Africa, we don't even have a ventilator. They say, I couldn't hear you. didn't know you gas. One day, oxygen, more, me that's it. One day, we'll be called oxygen, you'll see, you see, you'll 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 see, I'm in a gym. Because we didn't have ventilators, we call upon the name of the Lord. The people that do know their God. The people that do know their God. The people that do know their God. May you be among those people. May and I say, I will tell you the truth. My preaching, it has sent people away, they didn't come back again. I'm telling you, you will be uncomfortable. You will, you, will, you will not be fine. Tell your neighbor, that's why you are not fine. Tell you are not fine. You are not fine. You, are not fine. you, are not fine. you better change because I will make sure you are. Either you stop or you will run away. Ah! <laughs> Hallelujah. Ask Pastor Joe, it has not changed from being power to now. I have never changed. Spirit. Amen. May the Lord bless you and silence your enemies. 
anybody who have laughed at you for serving the Lord, they will see you and bow down your head in shame. Because, Shidi, your God is faithful. Yes, Lord. He's faithful. No, listen. There are things, eh? There are things we can quote scriptures. But yesterday, God gave me something. He said, son, there are things you quote, but sometimes eh, there is no scripture I'll quote that you don't know. Yes, sir. So God is showing me that one of the best preaching is a preaching of experience. And that's what David said. I have been young and I'm now old. Oh. So that one is not quoting. He's telling you what he has experienced. That I've never seen the righteous forsaken. So there are things we tell. Oh, Jesus, I feel like preaching. Today. There are things we tell you here. We are not trying to entertain you or we are not trying to excite you. Mm. We are talking. Listen, you cannot deny experience. Mm. Laban told Jacob, I have learned by experience that God has blessed me for your sake. Yes, Lord. Even the hidden man, yeah. the hidden idol worship man, Potiphar could learn that since this boy came to this house, I have studied the trend. So he, he, did, he was not apologetic to take him from the back as a servant and put him first. Because the, the, the everything, the evidence on the table was too clear. Sure. Following Jesus is not for shame. Sure. The road may be rough. You may go through all kinds of things. But keep holding on. Yes, Lord. Keep holding on. Amen. All the attacks, all the troubles, all the disappointment is to strengthen and toughen you. Amen. Because listen, anything you don't allow to kill you will strengthen you. Yes, sir. Straight. If you don't permit the thing to kill you, it will strengthen you. Yes. Yeah. But if you allow it to kill you, that's your business. Amen. Amen. But if you stand, heaven is overcomers. Amen. I say heaven is for what? Overcomers. It's a common language in Revelation. To him that overcomes, to him that overcomes, will I give this crown? To him that overcomes. So it's not for people walking around and making it look like this whole thing is like Chibom and Domido somewhere. Hey. 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 Look at everybody and say, hey. 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 Somebody came to me, Daddy. I'm so angry. I don't know whether to leave the marriage. I said, What's that? I saw condom in my husband's pocket. I said, So, did you ask him what? He said, He said, My husband said he was buying paracetamol. The woman mistakenly added. I said, Mommy, that is his version. Why can't you believe it? Mistake. I told the woman, I said, Madam, you saw condom. Some people they came to see their husband sleeping with people in the room. So what do you mean by what you just said? There is nothing. There is nothing you are going through. Somebody has not gone through the worst. Oh, somebody else will take it. Take it straight. Amen. There's nothing you are going through. That is why Jesus said, "If you want to follow me, take it up your cross." Some of you, your cross is a stubborn husband. Ah, I like that. I like the response. I like it. I like it. Some of you, your cross is a, a, a rebellious wife. Hi. Oh, you remember what Bombay? Ah! Some of you have noticed that because of the man you marry, you have become prayerful. Amen. Amen. Your cross is a, 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 a stubborn boss. You don't know what you have done. He hates you. Take up your cross. We want to make it look like Christianity is a crown. 
the symbol is not a crown, it's a cross. And to our head, from some shower, to me, shall say, Yeah, or to me, shall say, Now, so I gave way. Senior, my yen if he let me give you a picture. Or to me, shall not or the embargo to you put a restriction on all the family. Then suddenly you come out. Then he said, I say, so I we. The way he step here, and because the devil <laughs> works with proper, he doesn't know where you are going. But he can tell that the way you are able to get here, what can I do to stop it? And that is where if you give up, you give up, you give up, you give up. Do you know something? Sometimes God will sit in heaven, has all the angels, has all the power, and tell us that you'll be strong. <laughs> you clap better when I'm... Now, listen, wait. Can you imagine? Joshua is going to go and say, be strong. Ah, be strong, say. Four angels, bear four, go me home. Four angels. Do you know, I described to you angels in the Bible. Ha! Huh? Revelation chapter 10. Look at, let me describe one angel. Let me show you one angel. I should be strong. I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven. Can you hear? With a cloud. Huh? Clothed with a cloud. Natadia is a cloud. And rainbow was upon his head. His face was like it was a sun. One angel. And his feet is as a pillar of fire. This is a, out of the out of the billions of angels. This is a description of one. Go to the next verse and watch something. Watch something. He had in his hand a little book, the angel. And what this is the one that even even it, it, it messed my 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 theology. And he set his right foot on the sea. Whoa! Opa kujira choko. He set his right foot on the sea huh? and his left foot on the earth so that angel can put one foot in the deep sea and another one on Jamestown. What is even his height? Oh, you don't read the Bible. I read the way you are looking at him. I see, I see my hello. You have it in your bedroom. That's why you have never given it attention. This is a description of one angel. One angel. And God is saying with all angels, this angels, you be strong. Now, I'm not saying you be strong. 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 This one. Huh? I'm not saying you be strong. 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 I'm saying, Mr. Putin, people are not No, no, who means you? Because ah, please, what are you? What do you looking for? But that is not the way God has put the principle there. No, nobody. Some of you pray some kind of prayer, ignorant prayer, and those of those prayers where, hey, Lord, I command you. Nobody can command angels. They listen to only one person's instruction. That is God. So tell God to release the angels. You can command them. They don't even know you. Now hear your Bible. You read your Bible very well. He will give his angels charge. You don't charge. There are a lot of wrong theological preachings in our generation. Lord, I release your angels to go in our children. <laughs> what you may release the Ghana police? A lot of ignorant prayer. They, they, they listen to only God. Huh? All the church did was to pray. It is God that sent the angel to the prison and rescue Peter. Now hear this. How did I know that? Because when he didn't send the angel, Herod killed James. He killed James. Where was the same angel when James was dying? When the show my name. Amen. This angel is called a triangular angel. This is the angel that will cancel time. 
A time is coming, clock will not be there. You don't need to watch. Watch now, anybody didn't want to turn into unto offering. If you watch, wait, I watch, iPhone watch, a nice one. A time is coming, we need it again. Because when we usher, we get ushered to eternity. Now, the reason why you have a problem that God is delayed is because where he is, there is no clock. So when the Bible says one day is equivalent to 1,000 years, and 1,000 years, it doesn't mean that in Yacoupa, 1,000 years is one day, no. It's just an expression that means that somebody who lives in eternity. So the people, for instance, your grandmother and the relative that have died, it's because you live in time that you think they died 20, 100 years ago. But those who live in eternity, they, they see it like it happened today. Because clock is not tickling. One of the things that affect us is clock. So even in examination, time is part of examination. There are five questions. Answer three. You have answered two and they say, get ready to stop work. It means that, oh Jesus, I'm teaching something. I don't know whether to continue. Now what is it? But this particular angel, no wonder he has this kind of description. He's the one that is going to cancel time. But here, the Bible is giving us vision that every attack, every one of us is coming or going through, it must come from one of this kingdom. Either from the kingdom of the sea or the kingdom of the earth or the atmospheric kingdom. Watch this. And he had in his hand a little book open and he set his right foot on where? Such his right foot on where? The sea. It means that when he put his feet on the sea, he dominated the sea. He said, now the sea, you are under my control. And that's one angel. Then he set his right foot upon where? The earth. Are you getting it? Now jump to verse number five and look at something. Let me show you something. Jump to verse five. Huh? And the angel which I saw stand upon where? Huh? And upon what? The earth. And lifted up what? So that's why we call him the triangular angel. This is the way he stands. So it comes like this, it comes like this, and like this. So when I lift my hand like this, uh, the sign, if you draw a graph, it's going to come like triangle. But this angel, uh, he set one foot on the sea and set one. Let me see verse 6. Let me see verse 6. Look at it. Look at verse 6. Let me see verse 6. And, 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 and so come back to verse 4. Come back to verse 4. Come to verse 4. What's something here? And when the seven tenders had been uttered, verse 5. Verse 5. Verse 5. So the angel which I saw, it has already been described in verse 2. Uh, I saw stand upon the sea. Uh, and upon the earth. So he dominated the sea. And he said, every power in the sea, you are shut down. And then dominated the earth and said, you are shut down. And the devil is called the prince of the power of the air. So he pointed his hand on the air and said, I dominated. Then what is the reason for what he's doing? It's in verse 6. Look at verse 6. And swear by him that liveth forever and ever who created the heavens. That is the heavens is atmospheric heaven. And the thing that are therein and the earth his one foot is there. And the thing that are therein and the sea and the thing that are therein that there should be time no longer. So when he did that he cancelled time. And straight we went to eternity. Is there? Is there? This is it. So, there is one, one angel is going to have the responsibility to cancel time and usher us to eternity. And I don't know their number. Huh? Let me give you a little bit of their number. Revelation chapter 5 verse 11. Look at a little bit of the number and take your calculator or your, your phone and let's do some calculation here. And behold, I, I, and, and I beheld and heard the voice of many what? Angels. Talk to me. If you don't talk, something is wrong. Many what? Angels. So we are talking about angels. I ran about the throne and the beast and the elders and the number of the angels were 10,000 times 10,000. Multiply it. This is not all of them. Listen, these are the ones that are only around the throne. So those who are not on the throne, we don't know their number. 10,000 times 10,000. Then he was in and say, and thousands of thousands. And among them, we have described one. 
If you are not crappy, I don't think you are a Christian. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know what you are doing here. Among these 10,000, we have described one to you. Listen to me. That is why when we are afraid, God doesn't understand us. Because all these pictures was there for us not to be afraid. No. No. You don't need to see. You just have to believe it. Yes, okay, as he came and said, Master, we are dead. Hi, hey, Master, we are dead, though. Hi. Hey. When the Syrian army, the king that was the superpower at that time, is plotting to go and take Israel. Because that time, the benefit of living well is to conquer and take people by slaves and bring in them. And any time he strategize, then the strategy will not work. So what they call a cabinet meeting, say, hey, there is a lapel amongst us. The king say, what, 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 which one among you give information to the king of Israel? Because when I'm going to fight, as I'm going through Akosomo, somewhere, somewhere, they will meet me there. And one of them say, no, 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 sir. There is no, there is a prophet. So he said, no, there is a prophet there that if you want to talk in your bedroom, you will pick it up. So then the king said, let's go and pick him. So he sent an army because of one prophet. And when Gehazi and the people wake up, there were soldiers surrounding the house. We saw. So Gehazi was so afraid. He can't stand. He said, master, we are dead. He said, sleep. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something and take it. Fear is not normal for the regenerated spirit. When you are born again, every fear you have, you imported it. How do I know that? Because God has not given you the spirit of fear. So you call it. God didn't give it to you. You are afraid you will die. You are afraid because of hospital report. You are afraid that you may not get married. You are afraid that you may not get travel. You are afraid that. No. What man are you afraid of that God cannot kill? Who is threatening you that God cannot pull their breath? No, Pastor Joe, the way they are looking at you, I don't think they are listening. I have to close. But hear this. Now listen. We cannot tell. There is no guarantee that Elisha saw anything in the spirit. But Elisha looked at him and said, Lord, open his eye. When the guy's eyes was open, that means that what Elijah did is that he took the guy's eyes eh, and gave him a spiritual eye. So as we are here, there are a lot of things in the spirit unless God gives you that eye. Sometimes the prophetic operates in that way. You can be standing here before you know you'll find yourself in an environment, maybe north. That's why we can say that do you come from Bulga and this thing? Or sometimes you can mention a time because God took you there. It's, it's in a swift. Bam! Sometimes my wife and children will ask me, Daddy, my child, Daddy, how do you see? I said, the only way I can explain is that when God make you a prophet. <laughs> no. Because if I sit in a play, I cannot go as a pilot. How are you flying? I have to become a pilot to understand that language. If you are not in that gift, you can't. That is why... That is why there's a problem in our generation. The pastors are trying to explain the prophetic. Mm. Oh, you can do that as a result of insecurity and jealousy. But it is prophets that can explain the prophetic. And it's prophets that can call prophets to order. Because only prophet can see. It's only a genuine prophet can tell a false prophet. Ah. Are you the pastor? It's not your fear there. Teach it according to the word. No. Let's stop all this stuff. And then out of insecurity, we just talk. Even Jesus said this, he said that, he said that false prophets will arise and they will do many signs. He didn't tell us to rebuke them. He didn't tell us to arrest them. He said, leave the test and the wheat to grow Amen. until the harvest time. Bible Bible Pastor Joe, we are praying everywhere, but we don't know the word. That's the problem with this generation. The ignorance is too much. He can't quote one scripture, but it's on every platform. No, 
Some of you, eh, let me tell you something. I'm going to say something that will shock you. Eh? Some of you do know that you're praying or you pray. God has answered it a long time, but you're still praying. Uh, what I said, I wish I can run a commentary on it. Do you know that Daniel's 21 days of fast, eh? anything that is coming to heaven, God cannot give it attention because day one, God answered. So answer prayer can be one day, but warfare can be 20 days. They didn't catch what I said, so I'll repeat it again. Watch this. Heaven cannot repeat itself. God cannot speak twice. God has spoken once. You may hear it twice, but he speaks once. God cannot repeat. He cannot say, let there be light, let there be light. No. That is why the Bible says God cannot lie. The reason why God cannot lie, it means that, do you know why the Bible says God cannot lie? Huh? The reason he can't lie because everything he says, it comes according to the way he says it. This my daughter's shirt is white. Let's assume mommy has not seen it. But God is trying to lie to her that it's black. Once God calls it black, it will change to become black. Because he cannot lie. Wake the sister up. Wake it. The one that, I think the, the husband didn't let her sleep. So, sorry, stand up, stand up. Tell your husband to let you sleep so that you can listen to God's word. Very, very sorry about that. Hallelujah. Amen. If you see any woman sitting in church and sleeping, blame the husband. Yeah. Amen. Blame the husband. Any woman that is sitting in church that you see, oh, don't go see No, I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure. Oh, right. Immediately pray for the husband. Pray and tell God that, Lord, let this man sleep so that his wife can enjoy the word of God. Amen. Mm. I said it one day. Somewhere I was preaching. They said, I saw mommy doze. I said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Immediately, I went to stand where he stand. They say, In the name of Jesus, I receive. And then you wake up and say, Girl, that baby, the things you are preaching. Hey, you throw a ball at a wall, it will return back. To me. I will be the maker. This is a one kind of Started my message. You know, I was going to preach a very powerful message about faith. Wow. And uh, Mama, I'll say a poem. Oh, go on, say. I just told you that time is part of the examination. Yes, sir. Now, if you want me to go on, then call the angel I described to come and cancel time so that we can all continue. <laughs> Side of me, yes, sir. But I have to close. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm? Amen. That's the bottom line. Get it straight. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There, there, are, there are a lot of discomfort. One, this place is tight. The room is too some way. It's, 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 it's. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Don't let us deceive ourselves that God can work with every atmosphere. We have to create it for him. That is why most of the old prophets, eh, when they don't send a prophet anointed, they call him Mistra. It means that the, the, that atmosphere there is not conducive for the release. So they create that atmosphere by calling the Mistra to start singing and they stand. So it's not every atmosphere we can prophesy. You can just feel like the tightness, everything. When I was preaching in America and I started ministering deliverance, mass deliverance, commanding spirit, but I didn't have my experience or there. I'm telling you, one guy flew ahead of people and landed on my waist. I mix it once, one, one inch. Come by this time. No, 
I'm telling you the truth. I wish some, some of the Americans were. Is there anybody in the US that was in that meeting? Is there anybody in the US here that was in that meeting? New Jersey. I remember very well. New Jersey. Yeah. The guy, you could see the guy coming on top of people. It was online. You saw it. Lot I couldn't minister again. They carry me out. Now me, I'm not for say Papa. I'm sitting on me. Then I'm saying, I didn't know, baby. Just say, my friend is ah, cause I confirm that crazy and can no one can watch it. No, you cannot. But I'm telling you the truth. That day, I learned a lot of the Lord told me, listen to me. Don't do this thing when there are no instruments there to help. Even Jesus. The disciples were also op- operating the role of bodyguards. Yeah. You could see that they were blocking. Say, they say somebody has touched me. Say, Master, people are touching. We are even the one preventing them. Yeah. I'm telling you. So you can't go and say, Come on, come on, come on. A demon enters somebody. Hey. When you command spirits and they start manifesting. Huh? So don't say it. So when you say flow, flow, come and take the microphone and flow. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine you went to a meeting, you came back, you are castrated or something? <laughs> hey, anything could have happened. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody had a motor accident and the boss all was coming out. Hey. I know him. They call me, they say, Papa, pray. I pray. And they took the doctor say, you are lucky. The, the vein didn't get torn. No more sit here, then no more near ma. Obama said, "Papa, the radio is mad." No, so the, have you seen the only women are laughing? The men, uh, 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 the men that are laughing, they are not serious. Sure, it's a very serious battle. Yes, sir. <laughs> What happened to me, Pastor Joe, that day? Pastor, ask them online. I couldn't, I couldn't even share benediction from the auditorium straight. You know that thing, the devil always tormented me. When I go to those countries and I started commanding spirit, the picture came, then I stopped. One day I was minister, I went to a man. The guy was telling hey, leave me. I said, hey, I'll call. What am I going to do? I tell you recently, uh, you, I know you. I say, ah, you too. I, I don't know you. Go. My audition. Oh, this sacred drumming. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh. Amen. Amen. It doesn't matter what comes and what goes. God will turn the situation. Amen. Jesus. And it's going to happen suddenly. Amen. I say it's going to happen suddenly. In the twinkling of an eye. It's going to happen suddenly. You will wake up one morning and your destiny has changed. And your story has changed. And God will put a new song in your heart. He is a God of new things. He is a expert of doing new things. May the Lord do something new in your life. Your testimony shall be remembered on the former days. Neither consider the things of God. Say as the Lord, I will do a new yes, Give the Lord a clap of it.
God for us. It's a ready drama them stand still yes, and see the salvation of the Lord. Yes, Lord. See the deliverance of the Lord. Jesus. For the Egyptians who have seen them over the day, you will see them henceforth again. Amen. May that become your story after Amen. this. Yes, the trouble you have seen over the years, Jesus. the tears you have shed over the years, Jesus. the poverty and affliction, yeah. I declare you will see that so much. Should be louder than this one. I do buy Jesus. My mommy quit. coming with a sacrificial offering Amen. at the altar. Yes, Amen. Amen. There are some things that are signs and uh, it's not in the Bible but it's in the book of elders. I see no food you have in piano too. I had a great man of God call me and said that I'm not coming to preach but I just want to be part of your all night this Friday. Two of them. And I said, oh, wow. He said, no, I'm not going to be preaching. But the Friday night is not going to be a lot of preaching. It's going to be a lot of ministration. Yes, and it's going to be a lot of prophetic and worship. Amen. Mm -hmm. But I want you to do something. I normally buy money, but this one, I want you to get a handkerchief. And write the names of your closest family people. Write their name in the handkerchief and bring it Amen. to all night. Man of God, there's a scripture that came to my spirit. We must escape something. Amen. It's not everybody. Forget about everybody. Let me go into the spirit straight. The devil is not happy that you are standing here praying. And let me tell you, some of you, the prayer you are praying, you have crossed a line. Yeah. And the line has triggered some wicked attention. Because you see, when they wake up and they saw that bar was broken, they immediately say, Gideon has done this. How did they know? 
So, if you don't have anything, it depends on the kind of family. Because me bump by own trouble before we didn't see. But at least your wife, your children, maybe brothers and sisters. And the reason is because of Numbers chapter 31 verse 49. Jesus. Stand quiet. I'm going to read it from different translations. Listen to it. Numbers chapter 31 and verse number 40. Numbers chapter 31. Why? Wow, you, 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 can, you can't have you can't have 49 or you don't have 49 on it. Okay. So Moses sent them to go and fight. Sure. Pastor, let's move your computer, Kakrao. I said, Mama, you watch it. And when they went to fight, they came back. This is what they said. This is one of the mysterious scriptures in the Bible. Huh? Let's read from verse number 48. Watch this. Huh? Verse number 48. Verse 48. I read the book of Potter. I read the book of Potter. Computer. But you have to computer. I bet you why. Let me see it again. I bet and the officers which were over thousands of the hosts, the captains of thousands and the captains of hundreds came near to Moses. Yen Kamfri, verse number 45. Keep quiet and listen to this scripture. My beef is going to be 30 and 49. And 30,000 axes and 500. When you go, take your time and read. So these are the things they took to war. Keep going. And 16,000 persons. Watch this. Look at the number. Even of the children of Israel, half, Moses took one portion of 50, both of men and of beasts, and gave them to the Levi, which kept the charge of the tabernacle of the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. Keep going. Huh? And the officers, which were over thousands of the hosts, and the captains of thousands, everybody say thousands, thousands. and the captains of hundreds came near unto Moses. And listen to their report. And they said, and they said unto Moses, thy servant has taken the sum of the number of the number, the sum of the men of war who went to fight, which were under our charge, and there lacked not one man of us. Wait, New Living Translation. And said, We your servants has accounted or accounted for all the men. Who went out to battle under our command, and not one of us is missing. Amen. Now, anybody that will put your family, that is the direction God gave to you. Jesus. None of the family member will be missing. Amen. Can you imagine? Over 500,000 people went for war, and all of them came back intact. Amen. What a mighty God. You will not bury anybody in your Amen. family. Amen. You will celebrate people named your birthday. Amen. Why not? I saw Queen Elizabeth wearing high heels at 90 plus. Yes. Why not? Do you know your mindset can affect a lot of things around your life? I used to think I am still doing ministry and I've gone for the Lord said, shut up. You have not even started. And the Lord said, stop those kind of things and those faithless confessions you are making. Read your Bible. Moses started his ministry at the age of 80. It means everybody is 80 that you are starting. That is why Check the men of God that live long. You see that at a certain age, they start doing dangerous exploits. Papa Deboe entered 80 years and built three kilometer by three kilometer auditorium. And Moses worked in the ministry for 40 years. Our mindset is setting up to the grave earlier. 
Because being old is a choice. It's not a mess. What are you talking about? Maryland, there's a woman in America. He does crusades in strange countries. He just celebrated 92 birthday. And he's still preaching in crusades. Maryland and Haki, he and his wife. Huh? Huh? Let's go TV. This time, look at them. Preaching. Richard Robert told me, he said that my father's peak ministry was when he was in his 80s. Strange crusade, Dr. Robert. If you don't, listen, even if you are not a prophet, be prophetic. If you are not a prophet, be prophetic. Yes, sir. The patterns are in the Bible. You can take this as a prophetic pattern yes, prayer. Yes. Jesus. Nobody's going to get missing. Amen. Now listen. You see, this scripture, I took it and bring it to the spirit. This one was in the natural. So bring it to the rima. It means that the people that went to war, the other opponents were shooting missiles. They were shooting guns. AK-47. Whatever. And none of them were hit by a bullet. Amen. He said, we, our, you, we your servant that have counted for all men, all men who went to battle yes, sir. under our command. Uh, and not one of not us. Not one of us. Not I one. tell you, not one of us here will not be Not one of us in the name of Jesus. Next year by this time, you'll be standing. Amen. Ten years, you'll be standing. Amen. Your army will be loud. Amen. Now, let me tell you what I did now. What I'm telling you, if you don't have faith, you can't take it. Some of these declarations say, huh? <laughs> it's a lender, null and void. It's like when God gives you a plane ticket, nobody can stop you from getting a visa. Yes. Did you hear what I just said? Because God can go in advance. Nobody can stop you. That means that if you pick this prophetic declaration, then you don't need to be worried about the sickness Satan is trying to put in your life. Jesus. Because God said, none of us will None be. of us. Not one of us. Go and sleep. Amen. Taking the word of God. Jesus. It means that God has gone ahead of the devil. Amen. It's very simple. It's in the word. You don't yes. have to worry about yes, whatever Lord. the devil is trying to put you. Yes. No, no, no. Because none of us will be missing. Everybody you write their name. Jesus. And the rest of the detail of the prophetic direction, I will give it to you when you bring the name. Yes, sir. And you lift them. Do you know something? Do you know why I love mountains? Mountains are safe people in the Bible. Yes, Lord. The woman with the issue of blood touched mantle. Jesus. Garment mantle. Yes, sir. And power left Jesus. Power. It was a mantle that saved Rahab and his family. Yes. The spy said that, listen, Rahab, we don't even care about your house. Put this thread mantle on your house. Uh, if we don't see it, you are dead. And the Bible says everything in Jericho came down. Yes. Except the house with the mantle. This outstanding prophet that were commanding asked her to float. Elijah did double what Elijah did. All he inherited was a mantle. The Bible says, and as the chariot was going, the mantle of Elijah yes, fell on Elijah. Mm. But there are some other smart, smart military guys in the Bible that I'm always about. I like them. Those soldiers that were crucifying Jesus. Mm. I can see them say, Charlie, this guy's dress. No. Chai. No. Bibiu. They took the dress and cast law. Yes, sir. Why did they take the dress of the other thieves? Yeah, be there, be there, be there, be there. Smart. Yes, sir. Drunkard soldiers. Something they inside. The Bible said they took it and they cast law. That means they voted who should we? Because not everybody can wear. And I'm sure I I I, I really envy the soldier who won it. Ah. Uh. I'm sure his children are preaching the gospel. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Take it. This is a very serious scripture. It is the anchor scripture for dominion. Because you cannot possess your possession and leave it for somebody to eat it. Amen. Oh, I like those who Amen. 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 
Amen. No, you must enjoy the possessing that God. Yes, did. Lord. And the reason this scripture is crucial is that the thief coming out. So if you give an opportunity, he will steal. He will steal your faith. He will steal your testimony. He will steal your joy. He will steal your peace. He will make you make a grave danger mistake. Give him no place. Amen. Listen. Believe the word of God. Amen. If we stand under this atmosphere and God say, none of us will be missing. Now listen. Listen. The only person that won't come or come with that a mantle of what I said is that he didn't believe it. Yes. Jesus' mother gave us a major principle for manifestation. When the, the, the drinks are finished and they look at it, this guy say, whatever he tells you to do, do, do it. it. And that is what is connected to the prophetic. That's all. Don't compare me to your pastor because I am not a pastor. No. One, one, one widow came to, one, one, one widow prophet's wife came to Elisha. And he said, your, you know, my, my, your servant was a holy man. He was a righteous man. But he has died. And the creditors has come to take my children. That means that you can be holy and be broke. So get the holistic blessing. You can be very righteous and be a beggar. And it still doesn't glorify God. Now, what it is? Say, the mechanics and me Or Oh, maybe the woman was special. Elisha will just come and say that. He said, what do you have in the house? The direction didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. He said, go and borrow vessels. Some patch happy war vessel, patch of war, oh, you are home, a Veronica bucket, patch of war, a five five, Ankre, and and do know, listen, listen, Elisha said, don't borrow few, but he borrow few. Go and study that scripture carefully. Elisha specifically told the woman, don't borrow few. The Bible say, now when you saw the vessel, he asked the children, go and bring more vessels. And by the time he said, the oil cease. Because that time, disobedient, cut the oil. Straight. Somebody will not take it to us. The problem with our generation is that we love to pray, but we don't want to obey God. Let me tell you something. Faith is not only believing or confessing. Faith is behaving. So listen, it is cheap to confess, but it's a work to act. It is the doing that brings result, not the confession. No. So if they don't fetch the water, what will God do? The moment the people fed the water into the pot, Jesus turned it to one. Let me show you something about even raising the dead. God has the power to raise the dead, but he doesn't roll away the stone. So at the tomb of Lazarus, Jesus said, roll away the stone. If you keep the stone there, the dead can't come out. That is the work of man. To roll the stone means you believe what he's going to do. <laughs> Take out the stone. That's the bottom line. So we always have a part to play. This is the direction God has given. It may not make sense. Maybe somebody's name you put there, it will save the person's life. That's all. That's all. Psalm 102 and verse number, is it 20? Psalm 102 verse 20. Pastor Joe, why are we doing that? When we are walking around, you don't know what is happening to us. Here, to hear the groaning of the prisoners and to lose those that are appointed to death. And to be a whole bush and one more, but they have appointed him to death. And the Bible says you can lose them. That's why it said to lose those. So, Obiwa on the mobile, before the death sentence, I told you so. So, cars don't get accident by nothing. No, sometimes accident, some accident cannot be explained. Yeah. yeah. The Bible said to lose those who are appointed. Jesus. Huh? So, if you walk here and you go back, hey, I'll see there. some of you cry, eh? I learned. Let me tell you something. Sometimes, eh, don't just invite people to church. Pray for them. Because there is a lesson I learned here. A woman's son was losing his mind. Do you remember that thing? He bought a plane ticket from UK and brought the child. The child got to Porter. He said, I won't enter here. Do you remember that? I tell you people went to pray. Then I said, Lord, why? He said, Satan doesn't want to want you to go where you can be delivered. By the time the woman was leaving Porter, the child was totally sane. The spirit has gone. He has left school. He went back to school. But watch this. Sometimes, uh, even because of the direction I give, there are people, the devil will find a way to bring a story that they won't come.
By casting a man son here. Huh? One day I was there, he called me and said that. He asked a pastor, he's going through something. He said, Papa, he sent me a message, he didn't call me. And he said, I've asked him to come to Portis. Huh? I wish I can read that message. He sent me a lot of messages. So, and he said, the moment the pastor stepped into Portis, I think his mother or somebody called and said that, maybe I will be a brana, BBS you will fear. And he said, he told him, don't go anywhere. Don't, so you can be at your place of destiny and they'll pull you out of it. And by the time the guy was going, I didn't even know him. I ministered to him. And he told his, he told his friend that, listen, he said, now I know I can go to, if I die, I'll go to heaven. Apprehension, anxiety, double-mindedness. There are people that demonic thought is making them feel, will I even go to heaven? Do you know you can be coming to church, but you are not too sure whether you go to heaven? Do you know that thought is from the devil? The battle is in the mind. To obey is better than sacrifice. To obey is better than sacrifice. You won't do it. No. You won't do it. Because some of you go and tell your pastor, pastor says, oh, it doesn't make sense. Live your life. There are pastors who don't know deliverance ministry. When a demon is talking, they'll tell you it's your mind. So if that, those pastors are in Jesus' time, hmm? Jesus' time, somebody came and said, my daughter, my son is vexed with the devil. Sometimes, often I put him in the fire, in the water. If it's our time, we'll take him to psychologists. Psychology now, what's in him? Because we hear deliverance. Now, what's in him? What's in him? What's in him? What's in him? All kinds of funny, funny, funny things. No. What Jesus? <laughs> You notice that Jesus combat his 33 years on earth. Metro combat with the satanic kingdom. Somebody was bad down for 18 years. Doctors has given a name. Jesus said, it's Satan that has bound him. When he cast the spirit, the woman straightened up. That means a demon was responsible. And Jesus said, he's the daughter of Abraham. He was going to heaven, but with a pay. You can be walking around. And if nobody's praying for you, they have pointed you to death. Somebody will just lose you. That is why it's dangerous to have a family that nobody in the family prays. Some of you, the way we are standing here praying, it's not just about you. You are made in be here, Jumama, or Ate, or Ante. Or Ante, but if you cry, you are made, eh, God is giving you room to repent. All the great men, you are scared all of them. No, one could be on a number one. No, it is dangerous. And, and can I go deeper? Yeah. It's dangerous for two, two prayerless couples to be under one roof. Yeah. Yeah. I say, do, do. The color will be some way every day. This at least one person to be prayerful. Sebaku ye busy cry. Sebaku nyat dad no be jinem. Nothing just happens. Amen. And I'm going to be but oh, pampai, but that's not your excuse. If the man doesn't pray, he also doesn't pray. What is it? I've given the devil a few day. It's dangerous to have a family that the couple, all of them are prayerless. None of them is standing in the gap. Even one sleep, one should be at the all night. Because you hear God say, I sought for an intercessor, someone that will stand in the gap. So sometimes for deliverance to happen, God is looking for somebody to stand in the gap. And that is the reason the devil killed James. Because when James was arrested, nobody prayed. Peter got arrested, they prayed, God dispatched an angel. I'm not standing here by accident. You thought, you, you thought some of you think you came to protest. God probably brought you. No. 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 John chapter 6 verse 44, he said, except my father draws you, you cannot come. So sometimes you think that you're bad. So nyame, nyame na, nyame. the Holy Ghost just led you. Make, created an atmosphere that will bring you here. And you have to come here and hear what I'm saying. Pray the prayer we are praying. Be ministered to. And God will use that as a contact to crush and destroy. What is in satanic incubators? I see you walk out free. I see you totally delivered. Amen. The devil will not take you by surprise. Amen.
May the Lord meet your enemies halfway. Amen. Once they come, may the Lord meet them and deal with them halfway. Amen. I saw God met. Do you know that Jacob didn't know that Laban was chasing him? Never knew. Got the access. Crack, 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 crack. Do you know what he said to Jacob? It is in the power of my hand to do you harm. So he was going to do him harm, but God met him halfway. Amen. On the other Lord said, hey, don't speak anything even good or bad. It was Laban that said, he said, the God of your fathers met me. Yes. May God meet you, the witches in your family. Amen. May God meet your enemies of Amen. your children. Amen. Enemies of your finance. Amen. Enemies of your body. Amen. May the Lord meet your enemies halfway. Jesus. Lift your two hands and tango. Thank you. Thank you. And take an offering. Thank you, Jesus. Take a good offering. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. in the evening. Maybe House of Redemption will be more spacious. Yesterday we minister small. Don't yes, sir. Today we'll see what God will do. Pray for us for strength. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know. Maybe it may be one person. But the Lord has to tell him he's going to surprise you. Amen. 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 and call. Jesus. And the Lord says to tell you that stop calling the person. Amen. And immediately after dominion, he said, don't try to talk to somebody that he alone can talk to. Jesus. But he said, I should tell you that. Consider the thing that. Amen. He said, don't call the person again. Yes, sir. Don't call. Yes, sir. Leave it. Yes, sir. Never try to talk to people that only God can talk to. Yes, sir. You worsen the situation. Father, bless the seed of your people. Let it be well. And cause men to give unto the apostle. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Those of you here on this side, when you come, to the, house, the, room, the room is too choked.
Almighty God make his face to shine upon you Amen. and lift his countenance upon you. Amen. May he lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. May he hear and answer your prayer. Amen. May he make you a living testimony. May he honor your faith. I declare once again, you will never be ashamed. Amen. God bless you. We'll meet in the evening. If you have a pledge, you can bring it. <laughs>